and welcome back to a very, very festive day in our lives. I've been so excited about today. I have so far resisted putting the tree up, but today is the day. The tree is going up. We have some gingerbread houses to decorate. I might even start wrapping some of Ralph's toys today, like his presents. Ah! This video is very kindly sponsored by Waitrose and Partners. I've partnered up with them for yet another Christmas video, which is honestly the dream for me because when I think of seriously delicious festive food, I think of Waitrose and Partners. Like I <laughs> thoroughly enjoy my wanders around the supermarket these days. And they have some delicious treats in store online for you guys to try this festive season and I'm here for it. I have some food to share. We're gonna have a little canapé moment. Some little nibbles whilst decorating the tree. Oh my word, they have the most delicious mince pies in as well this season. I can't stop eating them. <laughs> but I am so, so excited for Christmas this year. Last Christmas, we knew that we were having Ralph. So we knew that it was our last Christmas without Ralph being here, but no one else knew. It was just like mine marks, little secret. And it was so fun. Obviously a bit of a strange Christmas, but kind of fun to have that secret and just know and hope that this year was gonna be different. And yeah, I'm so, so excited for our first Christmas with Ralph. It makes me feel really emotional just talking about it. And I can't wait to put up the tree and then like sit him in front of it and turn on the lights. I'm gonna cry just thinking about it. I was around the same age as Ralph, like for my first Christmas, and my parents always say that was such an incredible moment. So I very much look forward to doing that later today with him. And I just love putting up the tree. It always gets me in the mood. So why not put up the tree, get in some festive food. It sounds like a delicious and wonderful day to me. I really fancy cracking out a mince pie now, actually. Let me show you them. So this is what I've got for our afternoon activity. This is the Waitrose and Partners Christmas gingerbread house kit. Make and bake your own magical gingerbread house. I think we might have a little competition. So that is for later on. And then also these, the brown butter mince pies with Corvassier BS Cognac. <gasps> these are so good, okay. This is what you're looking for. This is the packaging. Looks like this from the side. It's part of their number one range. Um, I love a mince pie. I have eaten many mince pies over my lifetime. I've eaten many mince pies already this season. I've already shared these on Instagram and seen your DMs coming back to me being like, oh my word, I ran out, I bought them, they're delicious. They're the most buttery. They are quite crumbly. You have to be quite careful getting them out of the tin because they're so buttery and delicate. But oh. <laughs> I love brown butter cookies. Like browning your butter just gives it this like toasty, roasty quality, which is really delicious. Like a bit caramelly, nutty. It's really good. So. I knew these would be very tasty. Um, I'm pretty sure these are new for this year. If you can find them in store, buy them, DM me, let me know what you think. They are delicious and by far the best mince pies I've ever had. This is the fourth box we've had. <laughs> but when they are open, I mean, they're just delicious. They do not last long in our household at all. So you know what, it's 11's is. I'm gonna have one now. It's like Mark heard the rustling of the packaging. How good are these mince pies? I don't like them. I feel like Mark doesn't even really get it. You don't, you don't even get a look in because they don't last no, very long. Yeah, no, I have to like, I have to like squirrel them away when I, on my own. You, you know. do. Look at this deliciousness. Okay, the trick to getting them out is just to pull them away at one point. There you go. Professional. Yeah, can you, can you tell? Can you tell I've eaten many of these? It's always set up for you, so it's always like, <laughs> I come into shot and everyone just sees my beard. We can crouch down. Merry Christmas. Mm. Mm. I might put mine in the microwave. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Warm it up a little mm, bit. I'm going to go just on their own. Look at that. Mmm. Such a delicious filling. Great start to the day. We thought it made sense to make the gingerbread, actually, um, because it's obviously going to need to cool before we assemble it. So in your kit, if you open it up, you get the sensor inside. Very clever. So that's like inside the box. And then you've got your gingerbread mix, your royal icing mix some red icing and then also some boiled sweets that you put, I think you put them in the in the holes, in the holes where the hearts are. Um, very cute, love that.
Here you go, one tray, one gingerbread house ready to bake. So we've got the two sides, the front and the back, a door for the front and the back, and then also little hearts to decorate it with. So in that goes. Oh, and then these boiled sweets will hopefully melt and make little windows, which is adorable. I've never tried that before, so let's give it a go. And here you go, it's out the oven. I think that looks so good. So you just leave it to all cool down, obviously before you assemble it, and then also where the boiled sweets were, this will cool and make a little stained glass window effect, especially when you turn it around. So super, super chuffed with these. These were so fun to do. We were saying that'd be such a lovely thing to do with Ralph when he's a little bit older. And actually we've been thinking, like, what's our family tradition gonna be? Like, what's gonna be our tradition that we do every single year? It feels sort of fun. We've got a bit of a blank slate and we can kind of do whatever we want and say that it's our tradition. So what are your traditions? I'd love to know. Drop a comment down below. Like what's one thing that your family do every single year that just makes you feel truly Christmassy? And then I might have to nick one of them <laughs> and that can become our thing too. So we just made some of the icing that was in the pack. And here are our houses that we're going to attempt to construct. I've got some little cake stand things that we can put them on. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for this. This is definitely, this is a bit of me, I have to say. Yeah, I'm excited for this. This is so much fun. I'm finding this ridiculously therapeutic. I'm 100% making this a yearly thing. Time for decoration, what are you feeling? I mean, I'm the kind of guy that just does exactly what's on the box. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna try and replicate what's on the box. You're gonna try and recreate that? Yeah. Okay, right. I might try and go a little bit off-piste. Um, off-piste, what do you mean? We can do? I don't know, I'm gonna try not to look at the box. <laughs> <laughs> but when we come back, we would have decorated these and you can let us know who is the winner. So, go on. Let's go. Your turn. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> the, snow, the snow has already melted on our hot hour uh, yeah. gingerbread houses. I think we made the royal icing a little bit too runny. That was definitely our bad. We added more water than it said on the packs. So that was definitely our bad. And if you do get these packs, I'd say your royal icing should be on the stiff side. Oh yeah, because this sure. is, yeah, we definitely, we were just like, let's add some more, it'll be fine. <laughs> but this, the snow is melting, you know. I hope, what, okay, so what do we think? This is my, the front of mine. Yours is really cute. I feel like I just put more icing on. You know, I just was like, I'm just gonna just go, go crazy with the ice. You've done a really good job with the hearts. I'd, I'd say it's a lot harder than you think to Check fight the around though. the hearts. But it was I so like it. much fun. And I think when Ralph gets older, this would be a really fun thing to do yearly. I'd love to do this. This would be our new yearly tradition. I think it looks good far away on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Before we start putting up the tree, I'm gonna pop these in the oven. These are the pork and induya croquettes. Mark is like salivating. <laughs> he's waiting. He's like, hey, where are these picky bits that you promised? Like, come on. Um, I mean, I think these are perfect for eating whilst you cut up the tree. But I mean, great for a little like get together. You know, when people come over and you just, you need to have like something out. You know, some people might be a bit peckish. These are perfect. So we're going to sit these in the oven now. And then hopefully by the time we get to the fun bit, aka decorating, these will be ready to chow down on. So let's do it tree is up and actually whilst we we're talking about all things festive i really wanted to share with you my wreath i went to a wreath making workshop with my mom and my auntie and my grandma and it was just such a nice way to spend an afternoon i've done one with my mum before and we always said like oh we need to get like the rest of the family here next time and we did and it was just so nice it was so nice and i think when you do those workshops it's really interesting because a lot of the time everyone has the same supplies but everyone's wreaths look completely different. So, I don't know, where's the up, where's the top and the bottom? Here you go. This is my Christmas wreath for the year. A little bit of orange, a little bit of cinnamon. Threw in some gold stuff, not sure what it's called. Um, but it was so fun. It was such a good afternoon. It really got me in the mood, like we did that. Now we're putting up a tree. I really thought I'd have some time to wrap some of Ralph's presents today. I'm not sure that's gonna happen, but 
We're gonna throw on some jeans, eat the croquettes. I can smell them now, they smell so good. I really should have got in some mulled wine. Mum and dad had just taken Ralph out for a walk so that when he gets back, hopefully the tree will be done and we'll be able to have our like grand reveal moment. And I just can't wait. <laughs> Here we go. Mark is very excited about this. I have been following you around with it. <laughs> can I have them yet? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. In one. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you look doctor. Mm. 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 <laughs> I'm ready. Got my coffee. I'm good. We are good to go. since then we've had this angel tree topper and also like loads of these tree decorations as well. We had a diddy little tree in our first flat. It's just so nice that so many of these decorations are from that time. It makes me very nostalgic every time mm. I have to put it up. Go on. Should I put it on? Oh, you want to put that one on first? Or? No, I want to put this on last. And then we're going to wait for the star of the show to come back from his walk till we put this one up. But yes, I do have a decoration. <laughs> With Ralph's handprint on. I can't wait to put it up. It says Ralph's first Christmas on the back. We've saved a spot for it. It's gonna go there. Oh, yeah, I can't wait for him to come back. And then we can turn, we'll turn all the lights off and then we'll turn the lights on and put him in his little bouncer and we'll see what he makes of it all. I'm so excited. But, bus concludes. Oh my God, stop. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Thank you so much to Waitress and Partners for sponsoring this video and it's just so nice to do a Christmas video every year. It feels really fun to like look back on, oh my god I'm getting nostalgic again. I'm gonna have to cut the video off here but I hope you all have a wonderful festive season. I'll be back next weekend with a brand new video. I'm ready to put this up and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye! Bye!